Kev here, and today on Man Can Cook, I have a low carb breakfast cereal for you. When people find out about LCHF or keto, they're often horrified by the, by the fact that cereal is kind of a no-no on this way of eating. You can see the look of terror come across their face. What am I going to eat for breakfast? Well, this low carb breakfast cereal is full of nuts and seeds. It's so much healthier for you, and it's a great alternative if you're sick of bacon and eggs for breakfast. So this is my low carb muesli. For this recipe, you'll need 200 grams of a low carb nut. So in this case, I'm using all almonds, but you could use a combination of say macadamias, walnuts, pecans and almonds if you like. So it's 200 grams or one and a quarter cups. 50 grams or half a cup of flaked almonds. 50 grams or half a cup of desiccated coconut. 40 grams or half a cup of coconut shards. 70 grams or half a cup of pepitas or pumpkin seeds 70 grams or half a cup of sunflower seeds 40 grams or a quarter of a cup of flax seeds 40 grams or a quarter of a cup of chia seeds 30 grams or a quarter of a cup of sesame seeds 70 grams or a third of a cup of coconut oil you may need to melt this in the microwave 50 grams or a quarter of a cup of powdered stevia and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Begin by preheating your oven to 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit and then combine the powdered stevia with the coconut oil. And just stir the stevia and coconut just for about a minute or so, just until it's um, mostly dissolved. Doesn't matter if there's a, a few grains in there. Then you're gonna mix all of the dry ingredients in with the wet ingredients in a large bowl. And just mix it until everything's really well combined and everything is covered with the oil. And then divide the mixture over two baking trays lined with baking paper and spread it out into a thin layer. So cook your muesli in the oven, that was 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, then take it out of the oven, give it a shuffle, turn it around a bit and then put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes and you're going to cook it until it's starting to go golden. So here is the muesli straight out of the oven. I ended up cooking it for about 25 minutes until it was nice and golden and you just need to allow this to cool completely. I like to eat my muesli with a small amount of um, kefir which is a probiotic drink, a fermented milk. Uh, if you were dairy free you could use um, almond milk or coconut cream or coconut milk. Uh, this is so filling and so yummy. Mm. Delicious. This low carb muesli is so moorish. Try not to eat too much, but please click like if you liked my video, and I'd also love you to subscribe. And when you do subscribe, make sure you click on the notifications button so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.